So the best solution is to use a wireless bridge. Basically, a powerful long distance wireless link that Hey tech lovers, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Have you ever wished your Starlink internet could reach miles beyond your main house? Maybe to your workshop, a barn, or even a remote outbuilding? Well, today we're taking on a real world challenge delivering high speed Starlink internet from a house all the way to a farm outbuilding six kilometers away, and we'll do it without laying a single cable underground. So this is our client's main house. They've got a Starlink set up here. In store with a clear view of the sky, is fast, reliable, perfect for streaming, Zoom calls, or running a smart home system. But just down the road, six kilometers away, there's a farm where they need to manage their operation cameras, IoT devices, and farm management software. But the problem is, no internet. So how do we bring Starlink internet six kilometers away? So running fiber or bearing ethernet cables, that's just not practical. Too costly and the terrain is uneven. And a traditional Wi-Fi extender, not a chance. Standard router and mesh system are designed for a few dozen meters, maybe a couple hundred if you're lucky, but not kilometers. And since there's a clear line of sight between the main house and the farm outbuilding, so the best solution is to use a wireless bridge. Basically, a powerful long distance wireless link that acts like an invisible ethernet cable through the air. So this is where our Wi-Fi 7 outdoor wireless bridge comes in. So think of wireless bridges as a direct point-to-point -point connection between two locations. So one unit stays here at the main house connected to the Starlink network and the other goes to the farm outbuilding, receiving that signal and distributing internet there. Now what makes this Wi-Fi 7 bridge special? Let's break it down. So each unit contains high gain antennas and advanced Wi-Fi 7 radios that can transmit data over kilometers with minimal loss. And they use the latest 6 GHz spectrum with support for up to 320 MHz channels. That means faster speed, less interference, and much lower latency. Plus, the bridge uses adaptive modulation. It constantly adjusts the signal strength and encoding to stay stable even if weather conditions change. All right, without saying, let's set this up. So our first challenge is our Starlink's default router doesn't have a spare ethernet port. So we'll have to add our Starlink ethernet adapter. This creates another LAN port so we can connect our wireless bridge directly. So let's unplug the panel here. Plug in our adapter. Then connect the panel back to our adapter. And here we create a LAN port. So let's mount it on our demo board. Now we can use an Ethernet cable connect from our Starlink directly to the outdoor PoE injector first. Let's plug it into the data port. Now we are using power over Ethernet. That means we are sending both power and data for our Wi-Fi 7 wireless bridge. We have the data from the Starlink. Now we are using a short patch cord from the PoE port directly to the PoE port of our Wi-Fi 7 wireless bridge. So it is connected already. And line of sight is critical. Even small trees or buildings in the path can affect the performance. You also want both antennas to be aligned as precisely as possible. You can use a laser pointer, a campus, or the built-in signal alignment tool from the bridge's web interface. 
So now let's adjust it a little bit. Point it directly to our other bridge. So they are facing each other in a clear line of sight. And remember, a solid mount is key. Wind or vibration can cause misalignment over time. So make sure everything is tight and weatherproof. And for here, we are using PUE as well. This is an outdoor PUE switch. It's IP67 waterproof rated, and we're going to power up our wireless bridge and the wireless access point. So I'm going to plug in two ethernet cable, one for the wireless access point, the other for our wireless bridge. So connect it directly to the wireless bridge on this side. Now this bridge also support 12 volt DC, but PoE is cleaner, especially when mounting outdoors. And if you need backup powers, you can easily hook this up to a battery or solar setup for uninterrupted operation. Perfect for remote farm like this one here. So once everything powered up, we are able to connect our wireless bridges together through the web interface. I already unplugged the Starlink and connect my laptop directly to the outdoor PoE injector so we can get access to our wireless bridges. Actually, I already connected them. I just want to show you how to do it. First, we'll need to log in to our web interface. And from here, we can go to the wireless and select point-to-point -point mode, which is the standard Wi-Fi. And we are going to set one as transmitter and one as receiver. So we have access point and client. Now we are at the master bridge, so we can select access point. On the other bridge, you have to select client and make sure both units share the same channel, aggression key, and frequency band. And we are choosing the default channel and once the length are up you should see the connection status turn green and we have one client here and we have the access point and that's your long distance link established so now we've got high-speed internet straight from the Starlink no cable no trenching of course Wheel world speeds can vary, and the wireless bridge's rated distance is the theoretical maximum under perfect conditions. In reality, performance depends on weather, alignment, and interference. So after tested our wireless bridges outdoor, we are achieving 1.1 gigabit per second at 6 kilometers on 320 megahertz. That's pretty good, but we still have to divide that by three due to weather and interferences. So roughly, we're expecting around 400 megabit per second transmission speed. So that's how we extended Starlink Internet six kilometers across open farmland using a Wi-Fi 7 industrial wireless bridge. Now, if you're dealing with a similar challenge, long distances, rural setup, or remote building, this could be your perfect solution. Now, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And let us know in the comment section how far your Wi-Fi reaches. Thank you very much for joining us. Until next time, stay connected wherever you are.